Giant sloths and mastodons roamed the earth alongside humans for thousands of years, and recent archaeological discoveries are shedding light on this fascinating coexistence. Evidence shows that ancient humans arrived in the Americas much earlier than we once thought, bringing a remarkable new perspective on our history. One of the most intriguing findings comes from an illustration depicting a person carving an osteoderm, a bony plate from a giant sloth, in Brazil, dating back to around 25,000 to 27,000 years ago. This is significant because it suggests not only that humans were present, but actively interacting with these giant creatures. At the excavation site of Arroyo del Vizcaíno in Uruguay, researchers have uncovered fossils indicating human occupation as far back as 30,000 years ago. Furthermore, the Smithsonian National Museum is home to a reconstructed skeleton of a giant ground sloth, a reminder of the immense size and power these animals had. Imagine the landscape of prehistoric North and South America, where giant sloths mastodons, saber-toothed cats, and dire wolves roamed. This vibrant ecosystem was home to large animals such as glyptodons and lestodons, all coexisting with early humans. But contrary to earlier beliefs that human arrival led to these animals' rapid extinction, termed the Pleistocene overkill, new findings suggest a different narrative. Scientists now theorize that early humans may have coexisted with these massive beasts for over 10,000 years before their decline. Archaeological evidence supports this, including manipulated giant sloth bones found at Santa Elena in Brazil. These bones show signs of human intervention, highlighting a relationship that went beyond mere hunting. Miriam Pacheco, a researcher at the University of Sao Paulo, has uncovered sloth fossils believed to have been intentionally worked on by ancient people. The modification of these bones speaks volumes about the resourcefulness of early humans and their ability to adapt to their environment. Some fossils were even smoothed and polished, indicating they may have been crafted into decorative items. These discoveries challenge our understanding of the moment humans entered the Americas suggesting that they thrived alongside giant megafauna rather than hastening their extinction. Indeed, the evidence points to a complex interaction between species, one where early humans utilized these animals as part of their survival strategy without necessarily driving them to extinction. As we continue to piece together this ancient history, we find that our ancestors' narrative is richly woven into the fabric of the prehistoric world, redefining our place in the natural order. Research like Pacheco's not only illuminates the past, but also inspires us to continue exploring and understanding the intricate web of life that once characterized our planet. So, the story of giant sloths, mastodons and early humans is a reminder of the the complexities of our planet's history and the connections between these ancient species and the first human settlers. Pacheco learned in high school that Clovis was often considered the first culture in the Americas, with artifacts dating back about 11,000 to 13,000 years ago. However, recent findings have changed everything. Archaeological sites like Monteverde in Chile, found to be around 14,500 years old, challenge the established timeline. And even more astonishing is Arroyo del Vizcaíno in Uruguay, where evidence of human occupation dates back 30,000 years. The fossil record suggests humans arrived much earlier than Clovis and might have coexisted with large mammals rather than causing their extinctions. The discoveries at White Sands, where human footprints date back to over 21,000 years, add to this mystery. While some archaeologists find it puzzling that no artifacts were found there, they point to the compelling nature of the evidence. Ultimately, the true timeline of human arrival in the Americas may forever remain a fascinating puzzle, challenging our understanding of our ancestral past.